Um, so I'm back again with a drugstore haul of some drugstore cosmetics that I picked up. Um, I got some stuff at Walmart and some stuff at Walgreens. Um, all this stuff that I got is can be used on men's makeup as well as women's makeup, obviously. Um, I have it all on right now. It's not any, you know, like eyeshadow or stuff like that. Um, so all the guys out there who want to wear makeup and want to know some things, some goodbyes at the drugstore, watch this video um, because you could wear everything. Okay, first of all, I went to Walgreens because I was looking for the Eco Tools retractable kabuki brush because I heard it was like really good for bronzing, but I couldn't find it. But I did find this travel pack of mineral brushes. There was also there was a fourth one that came in it, but I gave it to my friend because it was for eyeshadow and I don't wear eyeshadow. But um, so there's this like highlighting brush. Um, it has white bristles, but it's obviously dirty because it has bronzer on it. Um, and I just use this to highlight with like a different bronzer than the all over one, just to give you know a nice highlight to certain places on your face. Um, it's good quality, it's pretty soft, and the bristles don't fall off, so that's good. Then just an all over powder brush. I use this for my translucent powder after the bronzer, um, which I use to help matte down the glitter in the bronzer a little bit. Um, I just sweep this across the face. It's really, and like all these brushes are really good quality. The bristles don't fall off and they're really soft. And then a concealer brush, which pretty obvious just for concealer. Um, put it under my eyes, all the places I want to conceal. When I put it on, I like go like this with it on my face in swivels. That way it doesn't leave streaks. Because if you just kind of go down, it looks streaky on the skin. Um, so I just go in swivels. And it's also good quality and the bristles don't fall off. And then like I said, there was a fourth brush, which was for eyeshadow. Um, and so the pack of four brushes I think was like 10 or $11. And the brand is like Studio 35, I think is what it's called. And then I also separately got this bronzing brush which was eight dollars also from walgreens also studio 35 um it's it's really dense um if you could like the bristles are like really tight in there it's really for like kind of for like single spaces you want to bronze i don't really like it for all over my face i prefer to use a powder brush because i feel like a powder brush gives me more coverage um because it's loose you know it's bigger um I use this just to kind of like buff buff out and blend a little bit, but I don't really like it for all over the face. But it's good quality and the bristles don't fall off. And like I said, this one's $8 from Walgreens. So those are the brushes I got. And then I also got some hard candy um, baked bronzer and heat wave. Um, I haven't really used it that much. I just got it. And the, the bronzer I use all over my face is from Sephora. It's the Kat Von D bronzer, and I really like that one, so I'm hesitant to use other ones, and especially a drugstore bronzer for all over my face. It's kind of cheap, but I heard really good reviews on this one. It's marbleized, if you can see, with like the gold. It has gold mar marbles in it. Um, but, you know, I, like I said, I heard it was really good quality, so I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll try it all over my face. Right now, I'm just using it to highlight. Hopefully, it doesn't look too orange on but no we'll see and this was eight dollars if i'm if i remember correctly from walmart and uh it's um hard candy is the brand and i also got this hard candy welcome mat um mattifying translucent powder which i really really like because it helps matte down the glitter and the bronzer that i wear um and it's really good quality for for you know like drugstore from what I heard, Hard Candy used to be at Sephora, and it was like the sister brand of Urban Decay. But, you know, for whatever reason, they moved it to Walmart, probably, you know, to reach a bigger market of people. Um, so the quality in Hard Candy products are really good um, compared to most drugstore products. And I really like this. I really recommend it. Um, even if you don't wear bronzer and you just want really natural men's makeup after you, like, conceal and prime, just to set everything with this powder, I really recommend it. Um, and it wasn't that expensive. It was either like eight, nine, or ten dollars. So, and it's like a really cute packaging. It has like a sponge and a mirror in it. So I really like this. And then lastly, from Hard Candy, I got this volumizing lip plumper, clear lip gloss. Um, it's like really big. I don't remember how much it was, but it's a big tube, which I like. And it, you just you know, put it on. It helps plump the lips a little bit. 
I think it works. I do not think it's a placebo. I really do think it plumps your lips a little bit. Obviously, you have to reapply it throughout the day, but um, they have it in different colors. It's not just in clear, but obviously, I don't wear colored lip gloss because I'm a boy, although I could, and there's nothing wrong with it if you do, but I just like a clear lip gloss. So I like this one by Hard Candy. Then I got some primers. This one is from Smashbox. Um, it's Photo Finish Targeted Pore and Line Primer. It comes out in, you know, very little. Like you squeeze it out and it's just tiny, tiny, tiny uh, amount. And you just put this on, you know, we have pores, like your big pores basically. And it just helps minimize them a little bit. Um, I like it. It's from Ulta and like I said, it's Smashbox. This isn't drugstore, but I thought I'd just throw it in there because I bought it. And then I have this, which I put on after my moisturizer. It's the um, L'Oreal Studio Secrets Anti-Redness Primer in green. The green obviously um, fights like the redness in your face. So wherever you have red undertones, you want to use a green primer to help counteract the redness. This one, like I said, is by L'Oreal. Um, I like it. I First thing I do when I apply my makeup, I moisturize with just, you know, regular, I use purpose moisturizer, but you can use any moisturizer, which everybody should do, no matter boy or girl, you wear makeup, you don't wear makeup, you should moisturize. And then after that, um, you, I put on this, on the redness of my face to help counteract the red spots. So I really like this. Um, they also have it in like, you know, like the yellow and like a pink to help counteract different you know, problem areas on your skin, but I have red spots, so I use the green. Then this, which I've been wanting to get for a really long time, but I haven't, um, and I'm so happy I did because it really, really works. It's the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Magic Perfecting Base, um, and the texture of this is like so, so, it feels like velvet. Like, it's so soft. It's like a mousse but it just feels, so, and it feels so good on your skin. It just makes your skin like silky, silky smooth. Um, and the purpose of this is basically to help fill in, um, like I have acne scars. So I put this on to help fill in those, those like holes in your face and it helps minimize pores also. Um, and this I apply after the anti-redness, the green primer. So first I do the moisturizer then the anti-redness, and then this um, to help just give you like a really good base to work with. Um, but if you wanted to just wear that, um, your skin will look really like flawless without wearing any bronzer or anything else. Um, and this, I think it's like $10 um, from Walmart. And everybody should own this. It's like a really good thing to have. It's really good quality for drugstore. And then lastly, I just picked up um, some more of my concealer. I wear the Sonia Keshuk for Target, Stick Concealer in Dusk is the color I wear. I really love this concealer. I've been wearing it for a really long time. Um, I love a stick concealer because I kind of just open it, pull out the stick, and put it, you know, on all the spots I conceal. I want to conceal under my eyes, and then just get the concealing brush and start blending it in. Or you could use your fingers. I use my fingers a lot too. This, I think, is like $7.50 from Target. Um, Sonia Keshek for Target. And that's pretty much it. It's all the stuff I've gotten from drugstore. Um, I'm gonna make some videos in the future where I, I show you actually how I do my makeup routines. So any guys out there who are interested in wearing makeup, if you don't wanna wear bronzer, like I said, you could just wear like concealers and primers just to help give your face like a natural glow, but help it look a little bit more flawless, hide some imperfections, because nobody wants to be imperfect. <laughs> and um, so until next time, favorite, comment, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, check out my blog, and I'll talk to you guys soon.